Hi everyone, my name is Rajasekhar. Welcome to my channel. This video is about integrating Camsys Magic Q with Unreal Engine Map on Axiometry. In short, we are going to use Camsys program to trigger lights on a virtual set which was imported inside Axiometry. Let's see the complete workflow. Download Axiometry DE 2023 version along with complete library assets and also download Unreal Engine for Axiometry. Launch Unreal Engine for Axiometry. All my DMX templates are compatible with Unreal Engine for Axiometry except the latest templates titled UE 5.3.1. Open any Unreal Engine project of your choice. In my case, I'm opening the DMX template for Virtual Studio version 2 which I prepared. Once the map is loaded, the first thing we will do is move the player position all the way down below the flow. We don't want this to be shown in Axiometry as a sphere. Let's add Axiometry Virtual Camera by going to Axiometry menu on the top add camera and choose virtual camera 1-3 billboards i've done that already that's why it's giving me this error you don't need to worry about the camera position or change anything about it let it sit happily few settings to do in unreal engine which are important for axiometry firstly save your current level as give a name of your choice and remember that name then click on edit and go to project settings in the project settings window top search box type map set the editor startup map and game default map to the level you saved while ago next search for planar and put a tick mark on support global clip and don't restart yet next search for stencil and change the custom depth to enable with stencil then search for mode click on the plus symbol next to default game mode save anywhere change the default pawn class to none close off the settings click file and choose save all restart unreal engine once unreal engine is restarted and your map is ready click axiometry on the top and choose cook content for axiometry de this would take three to five hours to get over or soon depending on your computer speed so wait for it to get over and for the message build complete Close off Unreal Engine. Now let's fire up Axiometry DE. Click Start. Let's go with the default setting without changing anything. Once Axiometry is loaded, click File, New, Compound. I kept my preview one screen on another screen. Let me bring it back. Locate your Unreal Engine map and drag and drop it into your Axiometry screen and wait for it to load up. The box with the map name, which is Virtual Studio in my case, is the Unreal Engine map with input and output nodes which can be connected. Let's load up few more elements into screen. We need a green stock footage character for this map. In the left, click on common folder and in the right, get inside videos folder and then green. Load any character you need. I am going to load the first one. Drag and drop the stock element inside the flow window. We need a virtual camera in Axiometry. Click on common folder in the left and in the right search for Unreal. Look for virtual cam Unreal A-B preview. Drag and drop it to the flow window. Now we need a recorder to output our composite into a video. Click on common in left and in right search for record. Look for record 3 audio. Drag and drop it to the flow window. Now we have all the required elements, let's connect them, watch the screen closely. From Unreal Engine map, the out goes to rendered of virtual cam, B mask to B mask. The stock footage out goes to test input 1 of virtual cam. Preview from virtual cam goes to the preview of record, out to out. Now do the following connections from virtual camera to the Unreal Engine map mode. They are cam transform to cam transform, cam horizontal POV to cam horizontal POV and so on. Once that's done, let's connect preview from record to output board on the right and choose OK. Let's do the same for out as well. As soon as we done that, we can notice the Unreal Engine map preview on the preview 1 window below. Let's resize preview 1 so that we can see it better. On the top, we have flow, camera, billboards and record. Flow is where we've been working on. The window where we connect all nodes together. It's like a blueprint in Unreal Engine. 
Camera is where you control and animate camera for the scene. Billboard is where you load up stock footage or live camera feed and adjust its corresponding settings. Record is used to output your composite. Let's head over to camera tab and click on mouse symbol to turn off camera mode. We are in free mode now. Now navigate the screen using scroll, middle mouse and right click. When you click on camera symbol, you are in the edit mode. You can press stop to stop the camera movement and need to press play up and down box to resume camera mode. Let's click on stop and click on A. Let's set a position for A path. Let's copy the same position of A and paste it in B. Let's slightly adjust path B. Now we have two different positions on A and B. Let's click on play to see the camera move. There are additional controls like loop, ping pong, front back moves for a path. If you want, you can have them enabled or disable them. Remember, we are setting A, B path for cam 1. Similarly, we can set 16 paths for a camera and each path can have its own speed settings. You can now see me adjusting speed for path 1. Click on the box to see the settings. We will get back to the camera shortly. Let's turn on the stock footage character. Click on billboard menu at the top. On input 1 box, click test to toggle the stock footage on or off. To move around, we need to be in free mode. So let's get back to the camera tab and then click on the mouse symbol. Let's get back to billboard, click on crop 1 box and in the right turn on portrait since it's inverted. Let's key out the green screen by clicking on key out 1 and choose monitor mode to matte on the right. Then in the monitor 1 box, click on key button. Let's adjust the low cut and high cut to get the desired key we want. Click final on monitor 1 box and also click on key 1 box and change the monitor mode to final as well in the right. Now to move the character to the front, click on access symbol on top and make sure to stay in billboard 1 box to see it. Staying on any other box will not show you the access. Let's reposition the character. With character in position, let's go to camera tab. Turn on save zone button, but make sure to turn it off when you are rendering. Readjusting path A and B for the character. We have our updated A and B. Let's play to preview. Let's have couple of more paths for cam 1. Let's copy A position from 1 so that we can use it for A in 2. Watch the screen closely. I'm going to give paths for A and B for 2 and then we'll create another path for A, B in 3. In short, I'm creating 3 different camera shots for cam 1. We now have three different camera shots. Now let's fire up Camsys and load the show file. If you are using my DMX template, the map is already loaded with DMX lights and Camsys is ready to trigger them. I am loading Calm Down Song show file which I have programmed. The settings on Camsys remains the same. The net host option should be normal plus loopback IP under network settings and all the universe needs to be enabled under DMX IO. 
Let's trigger by turning up the music fader. And we have the lights. You can expect some slowdown as I'm screen recording and triggering DMX lights with axiometry. DMX lights are on and our camera shots are fine. Let's output that by going to record tab. Click on recorder and set the output directory and codec you need on the right. Let's click on record button and head to camera tab to change camera shots as it's recording. Do not forget to click stop when you're done. It's done, closing of axiometry and magic cue. Let's see the final output. The final output is same as live test we saw because this is not a render but an actual recording of the composite. I think this would be smoother on high-end computers. Test it out and tell me in comments and share your output too. There should be some other way to render out from Axiometry. Let's see, we'll keep exploring that in future series. We'll keep exploring Axiometry parallelly along with DMX lighting in Unreal Engine. Lots to be done in the future. You can follow the same workflow to place your live camera feed in Axiometry along with DMX lights. I didn't do that for this video, but I might show you a demo of it soon. You can catch the basics of DMX lighting in Unreal Engine and Camsys and Axiometry on a playlist link I'm going to share you in the end of this video. If you wish to purchase my DMX templates, you can check the description of this video for more details. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar, signing out. Take care.